Hey guys, so what I'm doing now is um, the combine in there. I thought I might as well go ahead and get the monitor all set up uh, for it. This one uh, is a 4640 um, that'll go into it, but um, what I'm gonna do is update the software in it, and uh, this is a John Deere 4640 monitor. The great thing about these monitors um, over the 2630s is you can actually connect it to your Wi-Fi uh, if you have a wireless connection at, at the farm. So we're connected to our Wi-Fi here just like our computer would be. Um, so what we're able to do is if I, re I'm doing this for the first time, so you basically go into there, software manager, uh, check for updates online. We're just gonna do it for this display because I'm not hooked up to anything else right now. So while we're waiting with the, the 2630s, it wasn't hard, you just go online with a USB stick, um, find the update there, and then you'd come back and plug it into the, the uh, monitor itself on the side here, which has USB, and you just plug it in. You can still do it like that with this one, but um, this is just a light, least amount of step. I could actually have this in the combine out there as long as it's connected to Wi-Fi and uh, able to find an update that way too. I'm waiting, uh, shout out to Precision Planning for uh, sending me this cool uh, tumbler and a few other things. Appreciate that, so thanks guys. So we go through here and we can see uh, different things that we can download and update for this. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and we really don't need air seating updates, but Connect Mobile might as well update that one. I don't actually. I might leave all these uh, planting applications off, just because we don't really need them. They'll probably have an update before next year anyway. I'm going to go ahead and download this. So it's going to go through here, download all this stuff, and then uh, it'll install it itself and uh, go from there. Another thing while I'm waiting, um, on our bin site, uh, we got to be able to shoot internet access over there um, so it's able to monitor the grain dryer remotely and also we'll probably put some kind of bin monitoring systems on it. So it's kind of too far to obviously run lines or anything so what I use a lot of is Ubiquiti's products here, kind of got a stack of stuff. And so what I'm doing is I'll, uh, with one of these guys here, it'll be able to wirelessly shoot, make a wireless bridge over to the bins and um, hook that up to a repeater or basically another wireless point and have uh, Wi-Fi basically over at the bin site. Also, while I'm having it over there, I thought I'd hook up a couple cameras to basically, um, not sure, yeah, cameras basically. One to kind of maybe monitor something going on at the pits and also maybe one to point at the dryer just so uh, at night or something if it's running we can just pull it up on our phones and be able to uh, remotely look at it just to get a visual aspect of it. Also for security reasons so um, that's something I'm in the process of working on after they get the bends done. I actually already got the transmitter set up at the, at the uh, well above the office here. That'll shoot it over from the internet from where we get it over there just so uh, we can get that done anyway so that's a project I'm working on right now I'll show you more later on in subsequent videos so actually to make more efficient use of my time I might come out here use one of our tractors I got to update this monitor too and it's still in my basically planting tractor but just to show you that I can actually update it just by sitting in the tractor here. So one thing, if you guys haven't seen these 4640s, they do have these little antennas on the back and I assume it's just for wireless connectivity. That one is a little loose. I'm not sh sure if the, the 4600s can access it that way, but they might have a different form of antenna system, but that, that way I basically think this can actually um, access, yep, see, connected to O'Neill Family Farm, so uh, I'm not going to worry about these again, just, yep, I want that one. Download. Alright, we'll let that one go. The official storage place. So 
so once we got the stuff in the machine here, it's actually updating the receiver that we hooked up up above here, which is located right up that way. So that's what she's doing now. It's very progressive out here. Men's going up. I mailed a letter. I'm gonna have to go take a nap. One of the things I get asked about a couple times, you know, is basically my toolbox mount right here for my, what's called a CPL. Oh, I got my bike. I have a landlord that I've seen had, uh, he actually, I think they built their own. And uh, I always thought it was a good idea, especially when you get these smaller boxes. It's nice to be able to set stuff here. But um, basically, I actually ended up buying this one because I found it online. Um, it's actually made in Kansas. I can't remember the name of it and I'm not sure if it says it. I was gonna try to build one myself, but um, it was in the middle of summer and you know, by the time I would have done all this and I seen this one, I was like, I might as well just get this one because it'll work great. And it has for, I've had it since 2014 or 13. And so basically all it does is it swings out and I'll try to show you here in a sec. Swings out, you can open it up, see whatever you got going on here. But then it also locks by this pin, so you just pop that back up. Swing it back. But yeah, I, I'll try to look up the actual company I bought it from, but it's in Pratt, Kansas is what I remember. And it's worked really well since then. And so, um, yeah, like I said, it wasn't my original thought because uh, our landlord built one years ago. I just seen it in his pickup and thought it worked pretty good. And it's worked so far good for me. So I really like it that you can swing it in and out. Over there, the REA or Dawson Public Power is putting in a new pole with transformers, and they're putting in a tran transformer uh, pod. I don't, I can't remember what you call them, but um, that's going to basically be the electricity hookup for that bin uh, over there. That's cousin Eddie. He's putting up the bins. Just kidding. I don't go over there a bunch because there's a bunch of guys over there working and I really don't want to walk around with a camera and uh, bug them all. And so It's Nebraska people that get skittish around cameras around here. They'll, they'll think I'm working for the government. So if you're wondering from earlier why do we have these straps on this windows, when we got this home we noticed there was a small crack along the side over here. And uh, so basically they had to come out and replace the windshield for free, of course. But just so you guys know, I am kind of a somewhat of a tech nerd. I'll be honest with you. Um, so no, I like setting this stuff up. It's, it's kind of interesting to me to use technology, but it's also got to be useful technology. And so um, that's kind of my biggest thing uh, for all these ag companies that bring out technology and stuff. It's got to be something that pays for itself. So yeah, they basically got the two bins erected right now as far as uh, you know, sheets are concerned anyway. They still gotta put the floors in They're, I think they're putting some of the augers in, but um, they might actually come back and do the floors. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, they still got a lot to do. The guys that are putting in the legs gotta come in, put the leg up and get all that stuff done and also hooking the dryer up and also doing the pits. Uh, the electrical's gotta be all done. So there's a lot to go yet, a long ways to go. So uh, hopefully we still get it all done. But yeah, um, I got a nice little uh, time-lapse video of you for you guys here just to kind of show you how it just basically bends going. So yeah, I'll uh, let you do that now. But before that, thanks guys for uh, watching. Uh, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, uh, you'll see at the end here what uh, the tag is. So um, thanks guys, later.
smokes. Better get the wife out here and kill this thing.